Uh, Rolfing frequently asked questions. Uh, why is it called Rolfing? Um, so uh, it's named after the original Rolfer, Dr. Ida Rolf. Um, um, it's that's about it, really. Um, it's it's kind of a funny one because it's a funny name, um, and I think it sort of um, in part serves us quite well, but in part um, is a bit bonkers. Um, I don't know, but we could have had something much more uh, silly or mundane. We could have been like fascia practors or osteo. No, like, uh, I don't know, myopaths or, uh, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's named after Dr. Rolf. Um, I, I do, I mean, I, in part the name was what attracted me. It was like, it, it sort of, um, yes, I felt, my legs felt much better after Rolfing or I'm going Rolfing today. Um, it, it's it's kind of cool. I do like it. Um, Dr. Rolf actually never wanted her work to be called Rolfing. She wanted it to be called um, structural structural integration, which it still is. Um, but she kind of it, it got nicknamed Rolfing, and it it's stuck. Uh, and it's now like trademarked and um, everything. So um, yeah, it's it's stuck. Um, I think structural integration sort of is more, more sort of says what it does, but it also is a little bit sort of confusing to, I don't know, it sounds like an engineering thing or something, or I, I don't know, it, it it needs, I think it needed to maybe reference the body as well, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's named after Dr. Rolf. Cheerio.